good morning. This is your uh, race weather outlook for the 108th race to Mackinac. Issued uh, Wednesday morning, July 20th. We're two days from the start of the cruising class, three days from the start of the racing division, and uh, things are starting to coalesce a little bit. Not that the forecast is any easier, but I think we're getting a better handle on uh, how things are going to progress here. Uh, before we too much further along, just a reminder that uh, you should be monitoring the official forecasts across the lake. Uh, be advised of any uh, hazardous conditions that are that are coming up. I'll try and point out a couple of things here for you uh, that we'll be keeping an eye on and we need to be aware if uh, any uh, advisories or warnings are going to be issued uh, for those um, for those features. Here's to this morning's surface chart just to kind of whet our appetite a little bit here. We've got uh, some pleasant weather across the Great Lakes at the moment with high pressure departing uh, out to the east of uh, Chicago. Um, this uh, this high right here uh, will be moving, continuing to move east, and you'll notice that there is a uh, frontal boundary uh, sitting out to the west, and uh, this this sort of uh, boundary is going to be around through the end of the week. We're going to be talking about it in uh, different shapes and forms, um, and we are expecting kind of a change in the weather pattern to occur uh, in the sort of Saturday to Sunday time frame uh, where we'll replace this uh, frontal boundary here which will kind of move across the lakes uh, in some shape or form and a new high pressure is going to uh, come into the uh, western lakes uh, for early next week sort of Monday Tuesday next week so um, we'll be watching those changes evolve I want to point out uh, the um, uh, big picture satellite image here because uh, this shows us a nice uh, nice feature. We have a big upper level high that is developing over the center part of the country and uh, this uh, is really supporting a, uh, quite a warm air mass, some very warm temperatures, um, extreme, uh, extremely high heat index values uh, under this high and it's going to be expanding a little bit north and uh, east over the next uh, day or so. Now there's, if you look closely at this you'll see the this sort of area of showers and thunderstorms kind of uh, around the outer perimeter of this uh, upper high. In particular, we've had a very active pattern for the last few days coming down uh, from the northern plains across Iowa out to the west of Chicago. As this high kind of shifts a little bit north and east, that active area is going to move a little bit to the north and east as well and uh, could include Chicago for the uh, uh, end of the week. But this uh, whole pattern is going to start to break down. Uh, so the high moves up, this upper level high moves up to the north uh, for Friday. And then it starts to sag south again um, sat, uh, Saturday and Sunday. And this area up here, you'll see there's some showers and thunderstorms up in this area here. We're going to have some energy moving across uh, southern Canada. Uh, and the far northern plains into the upper Great Lakes and that's going to kind of suppress this this high pressure area back down to the south uh, over the weekend and that keeps our weather pretty active because we're kind of be sandwiched between those uh, two, two weather systems and uh, so this keeps keeps the weather pattern a bit active now the forecast charts which I'll go to now um, are uh, really sort of a guide we're gonna have to do some fine-tuning on these because we don't have a really uh, confident uh, forecast here for exactly where these these uh, fronts and uh, pressure systems are going to to uh, move and obviously that's pretty important for this race we've got uh, um, very specific area we're going to be sailing in and so whether you're on one side or the other of the low pressure area makes a huge difference but uh, for this uh, forecast at this point what we want to just try and focus on are the big picture items what things are we going to be looking for as we move toward Friday and into Saturday so here's the forecast chart for uh, Friday morning so this would be the morning of uh, uh, the <coughs> start of the uh, uh, cruising division and we're expecting that frontal boundary that's out to the uh, west of Chicago now to be pushed up more across the southern part of the lake We'll have a small high pressure area uh, moving across the northwestern um, lakes 
and that will continue to move east and it may push this uh, boundary a little bit further to the south again uh, during the day on Friday and then going into the weekend as we'll see we'll we'll watch this boundary start to move back to the north and across the lake so it's going to kind of waver um, here across the southern part of the lake on Friday and then should make a more definitive move back up to the northeast after this high gets out of the way and we have a new low pressure that's going to develop um, out over the plains and that'll all start to uh, help push that frontal boundary north um, in the weekend so just going forward here about 12 more hours in the forecast uh, we're looking now at uh, 7 p.m on Friday and you can see that frontal boundary still sagging across the southern part of the lake we've actually on the forecast we've got southwest winds in Chicago but just a little bit further offshore we're showing east winds so where that boundary is will make a huge difference on the uh, exact weather that uh, the cruising fleet gets once they once they depart and it's really too early to say with any uh, great confidence exactly what what's going to happen here but we do know that there's going to be some kind of change in close and uh, we'll need to keep an eye on that. And that high pressure area that I point out is moving slowly east and starting to weaken and we're getting a low pressure developing out to the west across the northern plains and so you'll notice that this northern, sorry, this western part of this warm front is actually starting to move back north um, in ahead of that, that low pressure area. So going into um, Saturday, I'm sorry, this, this should actually say Saturday up here. Um, this is Saturday morning. The uh, warm front is uh, sitting down across the southern part of Lake Michigan, but you can see it's moving to the northeast. We still have some weather around the front, so there could be some showers and thunderstorms around the front. And uh, that high's moved out to the east now. And uh, we'll, as the day progresses, as we go into later on Saturday, um, we see that the front has moved up into the northern part of the lake and now about the lower two-thirds of the lake are in some sort of southerly component uh, breeze and uh, that's all they're also st the wind is also starting to increase we see the isobars getting closer together down here that means that the wind speeds should be building uh, across the lake and you'll also see from the shading which is uh, rainfall uh, a lot of uh, uh, messiness. We've got some showers, thunderstorms across the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, and also scattered across Lower Michigan and Lower and the Southern Lake Michigan. And then we have the low pressure now moving, uh, in this case, to the north of the lake, uh, and the cold front starting to move uh, east toward the lake. And that will be our big weather feature for Sunday. That's the big change that's coming across. So if we go now to Saturday. Uh, um, Sunday morning we see that that warm front is well and truly up to the northeast of the lakes we've got a cold front that is uh, pushing south uh, east across the lake so southerly winds uh, from su uh, Saturday evening into early Sunday morning and then this front comes across and shifts the wind to the northwest now the models are quite uh, split on the timing here. We have some that bring this through before sunrise on Sunday and others hold it off until the afternoon on Sunday. So there's uh, going to be some kind of a front coming across the lake. We just don't have a really good handle yet on what time that is going to occur. But once the front does move through we do get a, a, uh, a building northwest wind behind it. Uh, and it does look like this is going to be kind of a noisy front. It's going to move through probably with some squalls. So we need to be aware of that uh, for sure. Um, now going into Sunday evening, that uh, frontal boundary is moved out to the uh, southeast. And now all the lake is starting to go into some sort of west or northwesterly flow. Uh, we still have some showers up across the Upper Peninsula of Michigan probably moving into northern Lake Michigan but most of the big weather now is out to the south and east with that front and if we look out to the west we can see high pressure starting to build in. Going to Monday the high continues to move close to the lake we keep a northwest to north wind across uh, uh, Lake Michigan and that wind will start to ease a little bit as that that high pressure gets closer and our pressure gradient starts to open up or weaken. And then going into Monday evening, uh, the high actually moves onto the lake and we have uh, very light winds across the lake, perhaps even some lake breezes across the northern part of the lake on Monday. 
Uh, and then there is a secondary cold front that is poised just to the north of Lake Superior, and that will be coming through uh, for uh, later uh, Monday and especially into Tuesday, bringing sort of a reinforcing push of, of cooler air to the, to the lakes. So that's the general picture. Again, be aware that the uh, uh, forecast position of a lot of these things and the timing is likely to change, but that gives you an idea of how of a, the transition that we're expecting to go across the lake. The cruising class will start in a very different weather pattern from the uh, racing class, and each will experience uh, the weather across the lake in very different ways. So looking forward to seeing you all out in Chicago. We'll have another update uh, uh, here in the forecast certainly uh, tomorrow or Friday.